So, George, I got to get you to weigh in. Okay. On something I saw in the news. I don't weigh much, but I'll try. <laughs> well you played. Like that? It's well played, sir. Okay, so here's the headline. I believe this is Wall Street Journal. Yeah. Uh, millennials team up to fulfill the dream of home ownership. Burdened by debt and facing soaring home prices, first time home buyers are pooling their finances with partners, friends, or roommates. What? George. This is frightening. Say it isn't so. It is so. Wall Street Journal is pretty reputable. And yes. here's the thing. It says the number of co-buyers with different last names increased by 771% between 2014 and 2021. So this isn't just a 2021 phenomenon. It's this just is, been This climbing. has been kind of happening. And what's happening is uh, millennials are strapped with student loan payments and all kinds of other payments, and they can't afford home ownership. And they're going, well, inflation, and I live in a high cost of living area. And so what do you do, Ken? You call up your buddy and say, hey. Rent is real expensive. What if we went in on this and we became homeowners together? Okay, now let's talk about the nuances there. It's not a it's not a, a spousal situation where you both have the same last name. No. And as we teach, shared assets and all that stuff, shared bank accounts. These are two completely different individuals. So uh, two of my favorite fake names to use in these scenarios is Bob and Larry. So let's say Bob. <laughs> Sound like Which, people by the who way, would do this. No millennials on the planet are named Bob and Larry. Parents don't name their kids that anymore. They don't. Maybe Robert. Okay. So let's go with <laughs> let's go with Robert and uh, Randolph. Perfect. And Robert and Randolph are buddies, and they go, okay, well, let's go do this. And so they buy a house together. How, what's that look like? They're both on the loan? Yes. It's called a joint tenancy or tenancy in common. Okay. And so it's it happens, and it's just... Two buddies, friends, they don't have any marital no. uh, connection, and they just want to own a home. And so you can, you legally, it's possible. It's not an illegal thing to do. It's totally fine to do, but it's a very dangerous move. Why is it dangerous? Well, um, home ownership is a big deal. Yeah. And when you got your name on the title of that home, uh, and then you got to go, okay, well, who's going to hire the handyman? Who's going to handle the mortgage payments? Uh, what if one moves away? What if one gets married? And so what happens is... Uh, there can be a lot of hairy stuff in that relationship that goes down. Yeah, I mean, and what then if, you're stuck. I said, well, Robert, Robert meets a gal, falls. I in want love. her to move in. You're getting moved out. Wait, 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 it's wait, my wait. house too. I co-own the house. It's just an. And by the way, we're at the very top of the onion here. We haven't really peeled it. No, there's all kinds of problems here. Legal mess, uh, relationship mess. I mean, it's just a mess. But like many things, it looks good on paper. And you go, well, financially, this is a, a great move when it comes down to the numbers. But when people see this through these rose-colored glasses and then life happens, it gets real messy. And I think we're going to see a lot of relationships hurt by this yeah. as we try to figure out all the nuances of home ownership with someone that you don't have yeah. a real connection with. So uh, the moral of the story is please don't fall prey to this supposed good idea. Don't. This has just got all kinds of crazy risk attached to it. But... I mean, wow, extreme times. It points back to, uh, to what we're trying to do with this borrowed future documentary. Yeah. Help people get rid of their student loans yeah. so that they can live the American dream. Yeah, which buy is your own house. Yeah, I love it. Home ownership.